Welcome back, peeps. This is another episode of Bad Axe Bourbon. I'm Bobby. We got something special again for you today. What we got? Let's see. Well, I know Bardstown Discovery Series number six just came out. I happen to have number four and number, just got number five, not, you know, just a couple months ago. So don't have the six yet, but I'm sure we'll get it soon so we can make a comparison to probably both of these. So if you don't know anything about the Discovery Series, it's a blend of bourbons. So number four, let's see number four here. Get the old bad axe glasses out. All right, so this is number five, and this is number four. So number four is a blend of three. It's three different whiskeys with different mash bills. It says the mat. It says the uh, percentage of of each one and where it's from. So we got three. All three of these from number four are from Kentucky. The first one being, they're different, three different mash bills. We've got 13 years, 15 years, and 10 years. All those mixed together. That's the Discovery Series. That's what they do. So we're going to give this one a sip, but we're going to talk about this one real quick too. Number five of the Discovery Series is a blend of four different whiskeys. So, and we got three from Kentucky and one of them is from Tennessee. So in Tennessee, it's not bourbon, right? It's Tennessee whiskey. So we got, uh, the first one we got is 31% of a 13 year. Number The second one we got of the Tennessee whiskey, we got 25% of a 17 year. And then we're going back to Kentucky at 25% of a seven year. And last but not least, we got 19% at a six year. There's a lot of age in both of these, right? A lot of age. There's just one more whiskey in here to blend up. So let's give them a, let's give them a little taste here. All right. Get a couple glens out. Voila. Let's get number four here. So number four, honestly, there was so much hype on number four from all the stuff we were watching and seeing and reading. There was so much hype on this thing. We got it. We're all excited about it because uh, where we're getting the hype from, everything else they gave hype from, we would we would go taste it, go get it. It was good. We were we were agreeing with it. Unless we got a bad bottle or something, this one right when we tasted it, it wasn't all that. I'm not gonna go. It it was okay. Right when we opened it, it's I'm not gonna go basil Hayden toast and say taste like feet or smell like feet or anything like that but it was okay i'm not gonna say it was bad it wasn't bad it was okay it just wasn't wasn't quite our jam especially after we got got all that hype and maybe having all that hype maybe that played into it a little bit but it's you know what though to be honest to be fair we have had it three four times after that and each time it's gotten better. So maybe it's better again now. So I'm gonna try it. Number four there. So now number five, my wife and I belong to this uh, Club at this distillery in Napa called Napa Valley Distillery. They make some good products there. Make some really good products, really good stuff. They're you like old fashions. Their Demerara sauce. Oh man, that is the best Demerara sauce on the planet. Prove me wrong. Send me some good Demerara sauce. Go to Napa Valley. I'll put their website in the description box. Go to Napa Valley Distillery. I believe it's NapaValleyDistillery.com, I'm not sure. I'll put the, the link or description or their website, whatever, in the description box below. But we were there, after we went there, we went to, we were hungry. So let's go find some place with, got some bourbons or whiskeys or whatever, right? We found this place called Bounty Hunter. They happen to sell all the whiskey that's in there, in their place, they'll sell it. 
So we went there and they happened to have discovery number five. Number six wasn't out yet. So I, I wasn't impressed with the four. So I'm like five got a little bit of hype. So I'm like, I don't know, but that's what they, they had that we hadn't had yet. So I said, yeah, I gave, gave four of that. I'll give, I'll give it a shot, you know. If I like it, then I like it. So got a four of it. <laughs> Obviously I got a bottle of it. So I liked it. I was like, oh crap, is this a, are you sure they weren't confusing uh, four with five or something? Because this number five was off the hinges. So uh, I'm gonna pour a little bit of that and we'll see. We'll see if we still like this one, right? Come on, man. It worked. <laughs> Can you see this number four has an, it has an awesome cork, I'll tell you that. They cheapened it up a little bit. Look what happened. This is some BS Bardstown. Come on, man. Don't cheapen up on your corks. Come on. And it's all you serious. Get this. This is some plasticky artificial crap. That's real. This is real and the cork is real. Stay with that. All right. Come on, man. Look at this. I gotta try to fix this cork. Yeah, fix it later. Anyway, we're gonna pour some of that. All right. Yeah, looking at with the light here, they, they look very similar. fruity I'm not getting a whole lot actually kind of flat you go in for a sip it's pretty hot Oh, 115 proof. Decent. 115 proof on the number four. We've got number five. That's 104.7 proof. So, we'll see what that does. Like I said, I normally like the proof, but only when it's popping the flavor. So if it's not popping the flavors, I don't need the proof for nothing. I don't need to burn. I don't need to go through that pain just to go through it. I want some flavors popping with it. Smells a little uh, fruitier. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you could smell uh, this. Still, only got a little bit of Tennessee in it. You could you could smell a little bit of that Tennessee whiskey. To me, it's like almost like a sweet uh, tobacco-y smell. I don't know if that's the correct way to explain it. That's what it kind of, that's what it comes to my mind. Yeah, it's a little sweeter. You can tell that, that's a, I can smell the Tennessee whiskey in this. Just taste it. Oh yeah. This one to me, to me, this one needs to fix that. Fixed it. To me, this five is is better than that four. This four is, I think it's gotten a little better since the last time, but still this, this is pretty, this is buttery, man. This is, this is pretty smooth. This five is good. Yeah, this five is, I mean, unless you guys prove me wrong, please. But uh, this five is better than this four to me. This proof is higher. Just it just tastes 
like it's got more proof in it to me didn't do anything to the flavors the flavors for me in this one I, again maybe i got a bad bottle because it got a lot of hype but we're a little flat i like i was a lot of burn with this but this one there's less burn it is less proof but buttery flavors are popping too it's like a strawberry butter that's a thing Maybe it's that Tennessee, Tennessee whiskey sweetening it up, but a little bit of a tobacco-y, leafy flavor, but yeah, I'm enjoying this one more than that, more than, I mean, more than this. It's good. This one's good. It's not bad axe good, but it's good. All right, so. We want to wrap this sucker up. For me, I think uh, Discovery Series Five, at least for now, is is better for me. I don't know. I'll have to check with my wife, see what she says. She probably would say she tends to like stuff about the same I do. I, I like more proof than she does, but but. This one, it, it, it's pretty butter. It's like I said, it's like a, to me it tastes like strawberry butter, warm strawberry butter. I think they, they got the proof just right on this one. It's a like 105-ish proof. This one is just, to me, this bottle is, is hot with a not, not a lot of flavor. Let me see, let me, let me give it one more shot. Oh, well now, I don't know if it's after drinking this one, but this one got real sweet on the tongue. Still got a little bit of heat, but not nearly as bad. Yeah, this tastes a little better now. A little sweet on the tongue, a little strawberry sweetness. Yeah, not bad. It's better now. Yeah, that's, that's all sweet across my tongue. Strawberry, I mean, more fruit, candy type of, of fruit. Got the heat on my tongue though, but still, it's way better now. <laughs> After having this one, I don't know if this one's helping that one out or what, but this is better now. Got some good legs on it. Anyway, that's uh, my, my four and five comparison. Uh, this one is better now. Than it was when I first opened it up at the beginning of the uh, episode. I think I prefer this one though. I prefer, prefer this a little, little bit lower proof and buttery strawberry. Man, I, I don't think I've ever had those two flavors together. But that's a, it's good, real good. Anyway, that's it. I'm picking this one. I'm gonna give it like, a, I'm gonna go ahead and give it like a three, three and a half axes. Right? It's not a bad axe or anything, but it's three and a half axes. So like comment and subscribe ring that bell there's a bell down there please put some comments in there give me a ask me some questions like i said like comment and subscribe ring that bell pump it up let's have some fun together i'm bobby like we say on this channel sharing good bourbon with friends and family is bad axe Thanks for watching. Till next time.